Hello Cocodiapers and welcome back to a brand new unboxing video. My name is San and today I'm here for you with another magazine unboxing and this time it's Rosé. She looks so extremely gorgeous on this cover of Harper's Bazaar. This is a May 2022 issue and look at our queen. Amazing. So let's flip through all the pages and of course stay tuned till the end because there will be a giveaway. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, Coca Divers, here she is, our beautiful Queen Rosé on the cover of Harper's Bazaar. I can't believe how incredibly gorgeous she looks on this cover. She is so stunning like this shot is just surreal with the black gloves and her blonde hair and her eyes just a subtle makeup i love everything about this she is so unbelievably talented and beautiful and just everything rosé is definitely my spirit animal so i'm so happy today that we are going to flip through this together and before we get started, I also got a little freebie from Coco Dive. This is an official Rosé photo card from her first album. Rosé first single album, R. And I love that they included this. Um, I already own one of these because I got her single album. But I'm really happy with this because maybe I can store it in like my phone case or maybe in my card holder. Iconic. And now let's move on to the actual magazine. So for all my fellow Agassiz, we're actually not going to start with Rosé today. We're going to start with Mark from God7 because he is also featured in this magazine. And come on, these pictures are just way too beautiful not to share with you guys. So it says stay true. And then we got these gorgeous shots. So first of all, this natural beauty king oh my god and then his abs that is insane i also love that we got a good view at his tattoos so he has a tattoo on the side of his ribs i also have a tattoo um on this spot so that makes me really happy i did not know that um also i love the smiley on his knee that's so cool and then of course this one i already knew that he had that one Oh my goodness, he looks so amazing. I love guys wearing crop tops so, so much. So yeah, this just makes me very, very happy. And then, oh, he is so cute. Is that a Paw Patrol dog? Yeah, right? Oh my god, that's really, really adorable. Um, It's like a sippy cup. And then we have this gorgeous look with the all black outfit and the Nike slippers, just like comfy, but sexy, but casual, but dressy at the same time. Like Mark is just everything you want and need in a guy, right? And then this picture is a little smile. Oh my god. And this TY stuffed animal, I have this huge thing for Beanie Babies, so... Oh my god, this picture makes me so incredibly happy. Um, I also collect them, so the fact that Mark is photographed with a beanie baby on his head, it just, oh my god, my day couldn't be better. And just everything about this picture is so pure. And then we got the interview, of course. Oh, look at this. He looks gorgeous in that all jeans look. I love the styling of this. It's so well done. And then with the Converse, love that. It's all very casual. Um, really, really cute. Oh my god. Him putting on his shoes and then eating candy in a very seductive way. Love, love, love it. And that is it. Um, so now let's move on to... Probably the reason why you guys started watching this unboxing, Rosé. And her feature starts right here with Super Rosé. And that is exactly what she is because look at this, you guys. The heels, the pose, the little black dress, the gold jewelry. This is everything. Oh my god. 
So Miss Rosé is wearing Saint Laurent, obviously, because she is a Saint Laurent ambassador, so that was to be expected from her. She looks so classy, so elegant. She literally embodies the image that YSL stands for, so I am completely obsessed. Or actually, I should say Saint Laurent is not called YSL anymore, I think. Um, but yeah, beautiful. And then we have this picture, obviously, that was our cover picture. So beautiful in the black and white this time. Obsessed with it. It gives that, like, old Hollywood glam, in my opinion. So insanely gorgeous. And then, wow, look at this bag. Um, this reminds me so much of the, did you see my bag? Did you see my bag? Okay, I can't sing, but... You guys know the BTS song for my fellow armies. Did you guys see a uh, Yoongi's picture at the airport where he was holding a Birkin bag? I was like, oh my goodness, that bag is huge. But then Rosé managed to hold an even bigger bag. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. So the big bag trend is definitely going strong this spring, summer. It is insane. Um, the big Chanel uh, Deauville bags are really on trend right now. And then these big YSL bags as well. I think it all started with the Dior Book Tote coming really into style. And I think it has everything to do with a more casual, laid-back vibe that we currently see in fashion. So a lot of people use these bags to go to the beach or to run errands with, and of course that's extremely classy to do that with a designer bag, but I love it. Like, the big bag trend is one of my favorite trends of this entire year. So um, the fact that Rosé is holding this in this picture just is so iconic to me. Also, the gown amazing um again everything is Saint Laurent then imagine Rosé is your date for Valentine's Day like look at her and all those roses I mean we gotta do her name justice obviously so um yeah I love that they included that in this shot also the gown looks so good on her with the belt that accentuates her waist gorgeous and then wow stunning i love the like kind of messy hair um blonde just suits her so so well i truly wonder how her hair has survived all the bleaching but yeah it just suits her and it belongs to her whole image so keep on being blonde rosé because we love you for it she looks effortlessly chic in this picture again with very subtle makeup i see that very often on rosé like she never really goes for extreme looks or i should say the makeup artists never go for extreme looks on her and i kind of like that because she's such a natural beauty so she doesn't need all that um i really like the like bronzy glowy eye look and then we got the interview and then more pictures. So we got a very elegant YSL blazer, or maybe it's a blazer dress. Oh no, I think it's a two-piece set um, with the shoulder pads. Also an iconic um, silhouette that we see at YSL. No, I keep saying YSL. That we see at Saint Laurent very often. Uh, very, very stunning. And then here we have this look with the skinny pants and the heels, which looks so good on her. And then her top says YSL. That's super iconic. Let me zoom in for you guys. There we go. Our queen. Wow. The looks that she's serving. Insane. Very, very stunning. And then, oh my god, this might be my favorite picture just of how iconic this pose is. Rosé is super flexible, I mean, obviously, because she's a dancer, but yeah, this is just everything. She looks so powerful, and her hair, I wonder how many times I had to redo this to get this shot, like, with her hair this perfect. I used to model full-time, as some of you guys know, so I know how much hard work is put into this, but... She, again, makes it look so effortlessly, like, it doesn't cost her any energy at all. Whilst holding a pose like this for, like, 20 minutes, because that's sometimes how long it can take, is so exhausting. But she is looking so fierce. So, yeah, just so cool. And then this beautiful gown, love it. But what is even more iconic to me is this look. Again, big back energy 
with the glasses. I love the statement necklace, very big, chunky jewelry, also statement bracelet. Just love everything about it. Also the fluffy shoes. These ones, insane. I am in love with Rosé. And then we got this one. Beautiful with a red light. And then an aesthetic picture of a rose. And that was it, you guys. So um, then, of course, we also have a poster. This is what the poster looks like. So incredibly gorgeous. I can't. And that is the magazine in comparison. So you guys can kind of see what the size difference is. And then that concludes our flip through of the Harper's Bazaar May 2022 issue. Um, of course, like I said, there will be a giveaway. And all you need to do is... First of all, be subscribed to the Coco Dive YouTube channel. Secondly, please give this video a big thumbs up. Then also please follow us on all our other different social media channels such as TikTok and Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. That will make me very, very, very happy. It's at San underscore Fender. And then last but not least, please comment down below your favorite photo in this magazine so of the ones that i just showed you please subscribe your absolute favorite and then two lucky coco divers get a chance to win this gorgeous gorgeous magazine so that was it for today i hope you guys love this unboxing thank you so so much for watching bye bye love you loads